no matter what kind of medicine you practice in this uh, century coming up, if you don't believe you're going to be practicing geriatric medicine, you're in denial. I find geriatrics to be the most intellectually challenging uh, medicine that one can practice. I can think of no greater honor than to be a physician caring for older people and or to be a scientist investigating the diseases and conditions that rob quality of life from them. In 1994, the John A. Hartford Foundation and the American Federation for Aging Research launched the Medical Student Geriatric Scholars Program. For 8 to 12 weeks, medical students work with leading scientists conducting research into the basic scientific and clinical challenges related to aging. To complement this time in the lab, students also gain exposure to geriatrics, both in clinical and classroom settings. At its heart, this program was created to encourage to more students to consider careers in the important, growing field of geriatrics. The student is assigned a primary research mentor and is expected to complete with a good supervision a research project in his or her area of interest. For me, and probably for a lot of people, it's a, a first research experience, and it's a very unintimidating way to, uh, to begin a research project. The research can be anything from bench research, basic science research, to clinical research, to health services research, to educational research. Many students have been involved in biomolecular projects in, involving uh, oxidative stress and Alzheimer's disease, for example. Still other students have been involved in projects that range from the epidemiology of elder abuse and neglect, uh, the epidemiology of cognitive impairment in the community, seniors' use of the Internet and the veracity of information that it provides. So there's a tremendous breadth of opportunity and expertise. The alternative in medical school, Oftentimes, especially as a first-year student, you feel like one among the masses. This program gives you the opportunity to get to really know a faculty member, spend time with them, see how they spend their day, get a sense of what it's like to be an academic physician. That may be a nice functional correlation. My mentor was fabulous and, and just let me help me totally design my project, you know, help me do it right and I was able to just go from idea to results. It's an excellent way to see whether academics suit you. Um, it provides you with a lot of the building blocks for an academic career in medicine. Even if you're not sure about a career in geriatric medicine, the research skills that you will garner will serve you well no matter which field of medicine you choose to be an investigator in. In terms of research, the most valuable part of the program is learning the methodology. I learned how to do statistics, I learned how to write abstracts, you learn the how-tos of the research trade. These two proteins most likely do it in the cytoplasm. It's another piece of the puzzle. That's pretty cool, right? She kind of has this ring around, this gray ring around, mm -hmm. and that's called Arcus senilis, and that actually comes with age. There will never be enough certified geriatricians to care for all the older adults in this country. At the moment, over 50% of visits to an internist office are people who are over the age of 65, and that's just going to increase. The current population over the age of 65 is expected to double by the year 2030. And we are ill-equipped to deal with a cohort of older people who will have needs that we uh, are only beginning to understand. We need to have more people who understand how to take the principles of geriatrics and weave them into their clinical practice, their research practice, whatever they go into. So just exposure to older people and clinical medicine in, in, a, in a vibrant, upbeat setting is a wonderful opportunity for a medical student.
Hold it this way so you can turn the screw. Okay. This way. Okay. All right. Geriatricians are very Hold patient faster. people. They love to teach. They love to mentor. So it's a great group of physicians to have your first experiences with. That's it. What did you get approximately? One. 40 or so, I heard. Right. The goal here is not necessarily to make geriatricians out of everyone, although we'd like to do that. It's The goal is to make individuals gero-friendly okay. uh, <laughs> in their right. particular subspecialties, and that would be a tremendous advance in the care of older people. So I'm going to ask you some questions about how your memory works. Just do your best and try to answer as many as you can. Even in the most frail body, there oftentimes can live an extraordinary mind and spirit who can teach you and can interact with you and can really help you understand um, why you've decided to be a doctor. I think this program is an excellent way to kind of balance the art and science of medicine. Dog, table, apple. This is a tremendous opportunity for medical students to learn what it's like to see patients and to do research. Great. The program's just designed around helping you sort of live out whatever your dream for the summer was. And that's the beauty of the summer program. You get exposed to world-class research at the same time getting to see geriatric medicine practiced in, in good and rarefied environments, uh, and you get paid. So what could be bad about that? If you would like more information or would like to apply for the Medical Student Geriatric Scholars Program, please see our website at www.afar.org or call the American Federation for Aging Research for a brochure at area code 212-703-9977. We look forward to hearing from you.